this is the eight tips on how to make live videos or YouTube videos even more better. <laughs> more better. Uh, great grammar. But so number one is find appropriate lighting. There's a lot of times when you're too close to a window or you've got the backlight that will just completely wash out the, the camera. So it's having that nice diffused light coming mostly straight forward that also removes the the lighting, the shadows. So uh, let me turn this light on here so you can kind of show what I'm talking about. So like if you have it from the side, like this is totally washed out and this is mostly in shadow. So having a decent light source is going to help tremendously. Number two is find the right camera angle. So if you're having it too low or too high, so if I get like this and you're looking down at me, all you're going to see is the chin and what's underneath it, which is not very flattering. Too low and you're going to be looking down below. So you want your camera just above the eye line. Number three is use a tripod. That will help you get the right angles that much easier. If you're doing it um, on mobile and you're holding it like a selfie stick, the, the tripod will allow you to hold it a little easier. Holding onto the phone is just sometimes pretty awkward. Uh, if you're in a pinch, using like a mug or something like that can also help. Number four is take a few minutes, um, make sure hair, makeup, what if you're wearing any or whatnot is kind of where you want it to be. You know, this is a video, people are trying to see you. Uh, number five is tidy up. Right now, I'm not following my own rules here. A little bit messy in the background, but you know, have a what you want to people to see in the background. Uh, number six, look for, um, look at the camera. So for me, my camera is up here versus say on a big laptop, you know, you have different portions that you might be distracted by. If you're looking at one of those, it's pretty easy to tell that the person is not looking directly at you. And I'm usually pretty horrible at that, so lesson learning for me. Um, number seven, reduce distractions. I mean, in this environment where we're all working from home, it's lots and lots of distractions. Either your dog walks in, your cat walks in, um, children running around, spouse, whatnot. So the more distractions you can reduce to be the even better. Um, ambient noises, so I don't know if you, I got a fan up there. When it's on, it clatters a lot, so that could just be distracting. Um, also, unnecessary face touching. For a lot of people, that kind of wigs them out, especially like a nose pick or an ear pick. Um, keep an eye on where your hands, right? Use your hands to talk, but you know, stay away from the touch in the face. Um, number eight, uh, dress appropriately for your audience. If you're, say, talking to an executive, maybe suit and tie is appropriate. Maybe if you're, um, you know, a performer, you know, maybe anything goes. But whatever it is, you know, make sure that your audience appropriate. So I hope these eight tips helped you. Got a lot more uh, where that came from. If you like, send a message to me and I'll be happy to talk to you more. See you guys tomorrow.